Peppa Pig. Sleepy Princess. <laughs> it's bedtime. <sighs> what Peppa and George need is a special story to help them fall asleep. <gasps> it is bedtime, but Peppa is not sleepy. Can you tell us a story, Daddy? <laughs> of course, says Daddy. <laughs> as long as you promise to go to sleep straight after. We promise, cries Peppa. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a castle, begins Daddy Pig, there lived a little princess called the Sleepy Princess. <gasps> Was the Sleepy Princess pretty? asked Peppa. <coughs> yes, replies Daddy Pig. She loved looking at herself in the mirror all day long. <coughs> Who else was living in the castle? asked Peppa. Er, <coughs> uh, well, says Daddy Pig. <coughs> the others in the castle were <coughs> the small prince, <coughs> Queen Mummy, <coughs> and King Daddy. <coughs> says Mummy Pig. Wow! That's right, says Daddy Pig. And there was a dragon at the castle, continues Daddy Pig. Dinosaur! asked George. <coughs> oh yes, it wasn't a dragon, it was a dinosaur, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> a huge, fierce dinosaur. <coughs> Roar! <coughs> cries George. <coughs> oh dear, says Mummy Pig. Maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. Sorry, George, says Daddy Pig. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. He ate lots of... grass. <coughs> Daddy, says Pig. Why was she called the Sleepy Princess? <coughs> I'm coming to that said Daddy Pig. You see, it was night time. The stars and moon were out and everyone got very, very sleepy. <sighs> and the most sleepy of all was the sleepy princess. Daddy Pig turned Peppa and George's light out. King Daddy carried the sleepy princess to bed in the castle tower and she fell straight to sleep. <gasps> Thank you for that story, King Daddy, whispers Mummy Pig. <coughs> You're welcome, Queen Mummy, whispers Daddy Pig. It seems our little prince and princess enjoyed it too, said Mummy Pig. <coughs> Peppa and George are fast asleep. <coughs> <coughs> The end. Peppa Pig, Peppa and her Golden Boots It was the day of the big puddle jumping competition. Peppa and her friends were practicing jumping up and down in muddy puddles. My daddy always wins, boasted Peppa. He said the first rule of puddle jumping is to wear your boots and mine are very special because they are made of gold. They are not gold, replied Susie Sheep. <coughs> they're yellow. They are not yellow, they're real plastic gold, protested Peppa. <coughs> Would anyone like some orange juice, called Mummy Pig from the house. Yes, please, replied everyone. <laughs> they ran inside, leaving their boots outside the front door. When Peppa and her friends had finished their juice, they headed outside to put on their boots. Oh no, my boots have gone, sobbed Peppa. <coughs> Mr. Zebra arrived with the post. I've just seen a duck with boots on. He said. Peppa sniffed. Were they gold? No, yellow, he replied. His duck came running down the hill wearing Peppa's golden boots. 
Peppa ran after her. Mrs. Duck, can I please have my boots back, please? But Mrs. Duck did not want to give Peppa's boots back. She didn't stop running until she reached Captain Dog's boat. No one could stop Mrs. Duck. She leapt into the water and swam away. Captain Dog started his engine. I think my boat can go faster than that duck, he exclaimed. But Captain Dog's boat could not keep up with Mrs. Duck. Hmm, that's a fast duck, he said. Mrs. Duck finally stopped at a little island where Grampy Rabbit had been shipwrecked when his boat capsized. Mrs. Duck has my boots and she won't give them back, Peppa called. Don't worry, Peppa, replied Grampy Rabbit. Mrs. Duck has nowhere to go. But then Mrs. Duck started flying and she was still wearing the boots. Oh no, cried Peppa. Mrs. Duck is flying to the moon with my boot. Don't worry, Peppa, said Grampy Rabbit, pointing to the neighbouring island. We'll take my rocket. Uh, I really don't think Peppa's boots will be on the moon, said Mummy Pig. Nonsense, insisted Grampy Rabbit, helping everyone into the rocket. Five, four, three, two, one... Blast off! On the moon, Peppa and her friends searched everywhere for Mrs. Duck and the golden boots. Let's ask at the shop, suggested Susie Sheep. <laughs> you don't get shops on the moon, exclaimed Daddy Pig. <laughs> Postcards! called Mrs. Rabbit from inside her gift shop. Ice cream, buckets and spades. Meanwhile, Grandpa Pig had spotted Mrs. Duck in his garden. <laughs> Those aren't your boots, are they? He asked. He quickly dialed Daddy Pig's number. <laughs> oh, hello, Grandpa Pig, said Daddy Pig. Yes, Peppa has lost some boots. We'll be right there. Next stop, Grandpa Pig's garden, announced Grumpy Pig. Peppa bounced excitedly out of the rocket. My boots, my golden boots, she exclaimed. Thank you, Grandpa. Grandpa Pig helped Peppa to put her boots on. Now we can go to the puddle jumping competition, said Mammy Pig. Oh, yes, agreed Daddy Pig. We'd better hurry. The big puddle jumping competition was about to begin. First up, Daddy Pig, cried Mr. Potato. Daddy Pig took a giant leap and made a very big splash. Then it was Mr. Elephant's turn and Mr. Elephant made an even bigger splash. Mr. Elephant is the winner, announced Mr. Potato. Peppa cleared her throat. Please, can I have a go too? She asked. Oh, of course, replied Mr. Potato. And can all of my friends help? Peppa added. Mr. Elephant was not pleased. Mm, hang on, I don't think that's really it. Sounds perfectly fair to me, interrupted Daddy Pig. Peppa and her friends formed a circle and held hands. Five! Four, three, two, one, they all chanted. Jump! Wee! <laughs> Peppa and her friends made the biggest splash ever. Peppa and her friends are the winners, declared Mr. Potato. Well, I still think, began Mr. Elephant. Hooray! Everyone cheered loudly. Peppa loved her golden boots. Everyone loved their boots. And everyone loved the big puddle jumping competition. <laughs> the end. Peppa and the Big Train Today, Peppa and her friends are going on a train ride together. Hooray! 
Hooray! They all cheer excitedly. Mr. Rabbit is the station master. He checks all the tickets. Tickets, please. Chug, chug, choo, choo, doot, doot. Miss Rabbit is driving the train. Here comes the big train. <coughs> Cheers, Peppa. <laughs> all aboard, says Mr. Rabbit. Then he waves a flag and blows his whistle. <coughs> the door shut. Clank, clank. And the train leaves. Chugga, 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 chugga. Here are your activity sheets, says Madame Gazelle. You have to spot a boat, a red light, and a tunnel on the train ride. I see some trees, shouts Peppa. Are trees on the list? asks Emily Elephant. Uh, no, replies Peppa. I see clouds. <laughs> Cheers, Susie Sheep. Are clouds on the list? Asks Candy Cat. Meow. Uh, no. <laughs> replies Susie. I see Grandad Dog. <laughs> shouts Pip. Is Grandad Dog on the list? <laughs> Grandad Dog isn't on it. <laughs> Laughs Danny Dog. <laughs> but he is sailing a boat, <laughs> says Rebecca Rabbit. And the boat is on the list, adds Zoe Zebra. <laughs> Hooray! Everyone cheers. <laughs> clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train rides on the track, sing the children. <laughs> Suddenly the train screeches to a halt. Bonk, bonk. The ducks cross the track. <laughs> a red light, cries Peppa. That's on our list. Oh, <sighs> sighs Emily Elephant. We still haven't seen a tunnel. <laughs> Just then, the train goes dark. Oh. We're in a tunnel, <laughs> cries Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hooray, <laughs> cheer all their friends. <laughs> the tunnel is the last thing on their sheets. <laughs> last stop, cries Miss Rabbit. Everybody off. But how are we getting home? Asked Peppa. We are home, Peppa, says Madame Gazelle. The children were so busy spotting things, they didn't notice that the great big train had gone in a great big circle. <laughs> the end. Peppa and the Great Vacation Peppa Pig and George are packing to go on vacation. You can't bring everything, says Daddy Pig. But we need all our toys, says Peppa. Just your favourites, says Daddy Pig. Peppa brings Teddy. George brings his dinosaur. Dinosaur, says George. <laughs> Can Goldie come too? asks Peppa. <coughs> Sorry, Peppa, Goldie can't join us, but Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig will look after her. The car is packed and the family is on the road. <coughs> when will we get there? calls Peppa from the back seat. Daddy Pig tells Peppa that they have a long drive. I miss Goldie, <coughs> says Peppa. Do you think she's all right? I think so, <coughs> says Mummy Pig. Peppa calls Grandpa Pig just to make sure. <coughs> At the vacation house, Mummy Pig unpacks her suitcase. She brought a lot of things. 
Daddy, you found the pool, calls Pepper. <laughs> yes, says Daddy Pig. I did. <laughs> Mummy Pig goes shopping in town. Peppa and George want to have pizza for lunch. <sighs> Mummy Pig has found some presents for Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. That won't all fit in your suitcase, says Daddy Pig. I want to get something too, says Peppa. I hope it's small, says Daddy Pig. It is, says Peppa. It's a postcard and it doesn't have to go in a suitcase. It will go in the mail. <laughs> the next day, Peppa and her family go on a nature walk. Daddy Pig has packed a big picnic lunch. There's nothing but trees, says Peppa. Look around, Peppa, says Mum Pig. There is lots to see here. Peppa looks around. Tracks, she says. I see tracks. Dinosaur, asks George. No, George, not dinosaur tracks, says Peppa. The tracks come to an end. Peppa gets Daddy Pig's binoculars and looks up. I see birds, a mother and babies in a nest. Peppa likes looking through the binoculars. Next she looks down. I see ants, she says. They're carrying leaves for lunch and salad. <laughs> Yuck, says George. Peppa is hungry. So are Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig and George. Time for a nice picnic lunch. Hmm. Peppa can't wait to tell Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig what a nice day they had on the nature walk. That evening, Peppa calls Grandpa Pig. He promises to tell Goldie that Peppa misses her and that she will soon be home. We're taking good care of her, he says. The next day, Daddy Pig and Mummy Pig take Peppa and George to the beach. It's a sandy beach with lots of rocks. Peppa finds a shell. George finds a fossil. Daddy Pig finds a crab. <laughs> There's a tide pool, says Peppa. Peppa and George look into the tiny pool. There are small plants. There's a gold coin, says Peppa. Ew, says George. Something is making bubbles. What could it be? A fish, says Peppa. Hello, fish. You would love my fish, Goldie. <laughs> Vacation is nearly over. Time to pack the suitcases and get back in the car. It's a long drive home, but Peppa has Teddy to keep her company in the back seat. She has George too. It has been a great vacation, but she can't wait to see Goldie. <coughs> Mummy Pig gives Granny Pig her present. Peppa runs to see Goldie. Oh, you've grown, she says. A lot. She seemed hungry, says Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Mr Zebra arrives. I have a postcard all the way from the beach, he says. Look, Goldie, says Peppa, you've got mail, something from our great vacation. The end. Peppa Pig and the Day of Giving Thanks <laughs> Peppa Pig and her brother George love going for walks with Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Today they are out among the trees and flowers and bugs and birds. Peppa is happy and thankful to be in this beautiful place. Wow. 
For Peppa and her family, it is a day for giving thanks. I love the blue sky, says Peppa. Thank you, sky. I love the clouds floating in the sky, she says. They make pretty shapes. Thank you, clouds. Peppa and George look for more things to thank on their walk. So does Daddy Pig. He looks up at a tall tree. Thank you, tree, he says. <laughs> Peppa sees her favourite fruit. Thank you, apples, says Peppa. It's nice to see you, turtle. <laughs> Peppa is thankful for the frogs, the fish, and especially the ducks. <laughs> Look, George, says Mummy Pig, butterflies. George flaps his arms, just like the butterflies. George points. Oh, says Peppa. Then she says, thank you, spider. <laughs> ah, cries Daddy Pig. He runs. He does not say thank you to the spider. There are so many things to be thankful for. The flowers help the bees says Mummy Pig. And the bees give us honey, says Peppa. I love honey. Hmm. There are so many colourful leaves and pumpkins. <sighs> so pretty, says Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and George play in the leaves. <laughs> Peppa feels something. Oh no, rain, says Mummy Pig. Peppa doesn't want to get wet. She is not thankful for the rain. Oh no! Daddy Pig, Mummy Pig, Peppa and George wait under the trees. The water pours down. The ducks don't mind the rain at all. When the rain stops, they move on. But Peppa doesn't see the birds or butterflies or even the ducks. And the sky isn't blue. <sighs> Where are the frogs and the turtles? <laughs> then, just ahead, Peppa sees something. She smiles. Look! The rain left a surprise for Peppa and George. <laughs> Thank you for the muddy puddle. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Peppa visits the aquarium. <laughs> this is Peppa's pet fish, Goldie. Wow. Every morning, Peppa gives Goldie breakfast. Hmm. Time to eat, she says. <laughs> oh dear, Goldie is not eating. <gasps> what is wrong with Goldie, Peppa asks. She looks a bit sad, says Mummy Pig. Oh no! I think she is lonely, says Peppa. She doesn't have any fish friends. <sighs> Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> What's an aquarium? Peppa asks. It is a place with lots of fish, says Daddy Pig. Oh goody! cries Peppa. We can find a friend for Goldie there. Let's go. <laughs> Peppa and her family drive to the aquarium. <coughs> Miss Rabbit sells them tickets. The fish can go in for free, she says. Enjoy your visit. <coughs> the first room has many little fish. Could one of these fish be Goldie's new friend? Asked Daddy Pig. No, says Peppa. They are too small. Peppa's friend, Candy Cat, is in the next room with her family. Hello, Candy, says Peppa. We are finding a friend for Goldie. <laughs> 
fish in this room look like little dinosaurs. Dinosaur, says George. <laughs> These aren't dinosaurs, <laughs> says Candy. They are called seahorses. Wow. Could a seahorse be Goldie's friend? <laughs> Candy asks. No, says Peppa. They are too dinosaur <laughs> Everyone goes to the next room. The tank in here has a very strange fish. Wow, says Daddy Pig. This fish looks like a big eye. <laughs> it is a big eye. On a very big fish. Maybe this one could be Goldie's new friend, says Mummy Pig. No, says Peppa. It is too big. There is only one room left to visit. But there are no fish in this tank. There is only green slime. Oh, and Miss Rabbit is in the tank too. She is cleaning it. The last stop is the cafe. Hmm. We did not find a friend for Goldie, Peppa says sadly. <sighs> then Peppa notices a bowl on the counter. What is that? Peppa asks. That is my pet goldfish, Ginger, says Miss Rabbit. Goldie likes Ginger. Ginger likes Goldie. Goldie can visit Ginger any time she wants, says Miss Rabbit. Hooray! Goldie has made a friend at the aquarium after all. The End Peppa Pig Grandpa Pig's Lawnmower <laughs> Peppa and George are playing in the garden with their ball. <laughs> Come on, George, says Peppa, throwing the ball up into the air. The ball lands in some long grass. Peppa and George go to find it. Peppa and George are having lots of fun. <laughs> but where is the ball? The grass is too long, says Peppa. We'll never find it. <laughs> Mummy Pig decides that it's time to cut the grass. We've let the garden get out of control, she says. Daddy Pig wheels out the lawnmower. <whistles> it's a bit old and rusty, says Mummy Pig. Nonsense, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig goes to push the lawnmower through the long grass, but it falls apart. <laughs> Perhaps it's time to phone Grandpa Pig for help, says Mummy Pig. <laughs> Grandpa Pig drives his motor mower over to Peppa's house. <laughs> this is a job for Betsy, says Grandpa Pig. Betsy is the name of Grandpa Pig's motor lawnmower. Wow! Betsy doesn't go very fast. They are slowing down the traffic. Grandpa Pig toots Betsy's horn proudly. Finally, Grandpa Pig arrives. He drives Betsy into Peppa's garden. Hello, everyone. I hear there's some grass that needs cutting says Grandpa Pig. Hello, Betsy, says Peppa. <laughs> Grandpa, can we ride on Betsy? Of course, says Grandpa Pig. Hop aboard. <laughs> Peppa and George climb up onto the motor moor next to Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Hold tight, says Grandpa Pig. Together they drive into the long grass. Whoosh! Grandpa Pig is having lots of fun. Betsy 
is very good at cutting grass. <laughs> Peppa and George are enjoying their ride. <laughs> Grandpa, you've missed a bit, says Peppa. <whistles> good spot, Peppa. <whistles> What's that over there, says Grandpa Pig. <whistles> Our ball, <whistles> cheers Peppa. <whistles> Hooray! <whistles> There you go, says Grandpa Pig. <coughs> Cutting grass is easy with Betsy. Thank you for cutting our grass, Grandpa Pig, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> and thank you for finding our ball, Grandpa, <coughs> says Peppa. <laughs> the End Peppa Pig, Peppa Goes to Hollywood Peppa and George were watching their favourite superhero, Super Potato, on television. Wow! When a trip to America to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space, announced Super Potato. Just find my golden ticket to join me and my co-star, Hash Brown, here in Hollywood. Ooh, gasped Peppa. Peppa ran into the kitchen where Mummy and Daddy Pig were making dinner. Mummy, said Peppa, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? <coughs> There's only one ticket in the whole world, Peppa said Mummy Pig. We'd have to be very lucky to find it. Just then, Mummy Pig said, Oh, there's something in this potato. It's the golden ticket, gasped Peppa and Daddy Pig. Hooray! We're going to America, cried Mummy Pig. Hooray! A few days later, they were on the plane. This is your captain speaking. Announced their pilot, Miss Rabbit. We'll soon be arriving in America. I think. Does anyone know where it is? Is that it? Asked Peppa, peering through the windows. Peppa was right. It was America. Outside the airport, a bright yellow taxi arrived to collect them. The driver looked very familiar. Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit, <coughs> gasped Peppa. We have a Miss Rabbit at home. <coughs> Every town needs a Miss Rabbit, said the taxi driver. Hop in. <coughs> Is this Hollywood? asked Mummy Pig. <coughs> no, <coughs> said Miss Rabbit. This is New York, the city that never sleeps. I'll give you a tour. <coughs> New York was very busy and very big. Wow! <whistles> Miss Rabbit got Peppa and George ice creams, hmm. then took everyone to the first stop on her New York tour, the Empire State Building. <whistles> when they reached the top, Daddy Pig closed his eyes. I can't look, he said. <whistles> but there's so much to see, Daddy, <whistles> cried Peppa. Miss Rabbit popped on her tour guide cap. Oh. With this telescope, you can see the Statue of Liberty, she said. <laughs> Peppa looked through the telescope and across New York Harbour. I can see a big green lady with an ice cream, she cried, holding her own cone in the air. <laughs> Look at me, I'm the Statue of Liberty. The next stop was Times Square. Wow! Look! called Peppa, pointing at a billboard. That's the film we're going to be in. <coughs> you need to go to Hollywood, said Miss Rabbit. I have just the thing to get you there. <coughs> a motor home, said Miss Rabbit. She threw Daddy Pig the keys and Peppa's family climbed aboard. 
It had been a very busy day in New York. <sighs> Peppa and her family needed a good night's rest in the motorhome before the journey to Hollywood. <sighs> For a city that never sleeps, it's made me very sleepy, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> the next day, Peppa and her family got straight on the road to Hollywood. Are we there yet, Daddy Pig? asked Mummy Pig. Uh, let's ask someone, he replied. They pulled up outside a nearby diner where someone familiar looking was strumming a guitar. Howdy folks, I'm Miss Rabbit. It's another Miss Rabbit, Peppa cried. Wow. Yep, there's loads of us around replied Miss Rabbit. Now, what can I do for you? Do you need gas or a bite to eat? Are we in Hollywood? asked Mummy Pig. No, ma'am. You're a long way away from Hollywood, said Miss Rabbit. But as you're here, why don't you get some home cooking in your bellies? Hmm. Well, I suppose I could stop for breakfast, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> After a delicious breakfast of eggs, Miss Rabbit took Peppa's family country dancing and monster trucking. Daddy's truck is jumping up and down in muddy puddles, Peppa cheered. But there was no time to waste if they were going to make it to the film set. Peppa and her family had to say goodbye. Hash Brown is my favourite actor, said Miss Rabbit. Tell him howdy from me. Daddy Pig drove for miles and miles until... Stop! yelled Mr Bison. Can you know head? And if you want to know more, there's an information desk over there. <laughs> Peppa and her family met another Miss Rabbit at the information desk. She gave them a tour of the Grand Canyon in her helicopter. Wow! cried Peppa. Amazing, isn't it? said Miss Rabbit. These rocks have been here since the time of the dinosaurs. Wow! Dinosaur! Urgh! shouted George. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's tour continued with a ride down some rapids and a visit to the Grand Canyon Caverns, where she showed them animal pictures drawn a long time ago. Ooh, cried George. <laughs> Daddy Pig drove out of the desert. Are we nearly there yet? asked Peppa. I don't know, said Daddy Pig. Let's stop and look at the map. Sir, did you know you must only stop on a freeway if it is an emergency, said Police Rabbit. It's another Miss Rabbit, said Peppa. <laughs> Miss Rabbit, it is an emergency. We've won tickets to be in Super Potato's new film, Vegetables in Space, added Mummy Pig. In that case, head straight on until you see the Hollywood sign. If you don't see the sign, look out for the stars, said Miss Rabbit. George spotted them first. Wow! Star, star! He shouted. <laughs> then Peppa spotted two real live stars. Oh. It's Super Potato and Hash Brown, she cried. We won the competition to be in your film, Vegetables in Space, said Peppa. <laughs> then let's get to the studio, cried Super Potato. We've got a film to make. Hooray! On the film set, Peppa and her family were dressed up as broccoli. Oh. Then the filming began. Lights, camera, action. Hundreds of space carrots zoomed towards Super Potato and Hash Brown spaceship. Oh no! shouted Super Potato. These naughty carrots will destroy the universe! <gasps> if only there were some way of getting rid of them! cried Hash Brown. <coughs> we could eat them! said Peppa. 
but it looks like there are too many. Just then, some unexpected visitors arrived at the studio. Hello, said several familiar voices. We couldn't miss meeting Hash Brown. It was Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. We have to eat the carrots, explained Peppa. It's to save the universe. The Miss Rabbits were very happy to help. They loved carrots even more than they loved Hash Brown. We did it, cried Super Potato. Hooray! Hooray! Everyone cheered. <laughs> the universe was saved, thanks to Peppa and all the Miss Rabbits. Have you had a good time on your trip, Peppa? Asked one Miss Rabbit. Yes, said Peppa. The best bit was... Everything! <laughs> Peppa loves Hollywood. Everyone loves Hollywood. The end. Peppa Pig, Miss Rabbit's Day Off. <laughs> Peppa George and Susie Sheep have had a sleepover at Rebecca Rabbit's house. It's fun having carrots for breakfast, laughs Peppa. I could eat carrots all day, agrees Daddy Rabbit. <coughs> Mummy Rabbit's sister, Miss Rabbit, pops in to say hello. Hooray! I can't stop long, she says. I've got lots of work to do. I'm working at the supermarket, selling ice creams and driving the bus. Wow! <coughs> Miss Rabbit trips over one of Richard's toys. Ouch! Her ankle is hurt. Oh no! You must stay here and get better, decides Miss Rabbit. I'll do your work for you. Oh. Mummy Rabbit puts Rebecca and her friends in charge of looking after Miss Rabbit. Luckily, Susie Sheep has her nurse's outfit with her. Hooray. Don't worry, she says. I am only a pretend nurse. Mummy Rabbit goes straight to the supermarket. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is ill, she tells everyone. I'll be doing her job today. Oh. Have you ever worked to check out before? asks Mrs. Dog. <coughs> Mummy Rabbit has not. <coughs> Running a supermarket checkout is quite hard. <coughs> Miss Rabbit calls home. <coughs> we need more help, she cries. This job is going to take me all day! <laughs> Peppa phones Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy Pig answers. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Ho <laughs> ho! <laughs> snorts Daddy Pig. I'm an expert at ice cream. He gets to work. Selling ice cream is quite hard. Soon the ice cream begins to melt. Oh no! The ice cream is all runny. I ice cream soup, anyone? Asked Daddy Pig. <coughs> Peppa phones Grandad Dog. Miss Rabbit is very ill. Can you drive her bus today? <coughs> Grandad Dog gets to work, but driving a bus is quite hard. <coughs> It is even harder when you have cars to fix too. Oh no! Back at Rebecca Rabbit's house, Miss Rabbit is feeling better. Hooray! Can I get up now? She asks. Susie Sheep shakes her head. No! <coughs> you must lie very still, but please keep breathing. <coughs> it's not easy doing all your jobs, says Mummy Rabbit at the end of the day. It's not easy sitting down all day, says Miss Rabbit. She will definitely be back at work tomorrow. Yay! The end.
the end. Peppa Pig, Pedro's Cough. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are waiting for Madame Gazelle to start their music lesson. Miss Polly Hattie Dolly, sings Madame Gazelle. <coughs> what is that strange noise? Poor Pedro Pony has a nasty cough. <sighs> Not to worry, says Madame Gazelle. I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear looks after everyone when they are poorly. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear picks up his medical kit, jumps in his doctor's car and drives straight to playgroup. I've got a cough, says Pedro, when Dr. Brown Bear arrives. <coughs> hmm, it's nothing serious, says Dr. Brown Bear. But it may be catching, so we'll give you some medicine. Oh! Uh, cries Pedro. It tastes like old shoe full of jam. <coughs> Susie Sheep and Danny Dog start to cough too. <coughs> As I thought, says Dr. Brown Bear, Pedro's cough is catching. He gives them both some cough medicine. <coughs> a taste of carpet flavoured yogurt, says Susie. <coughs> Yuck! <coughs> a taste of flowers, says Danny. <coughs> Do you ever get ill, Dr. Brown Bear? Asked Peppa. I'm never ill because I eat an apple a day, says Dr. Brown Bear. Hmm. Soon it is home time and the parents arrive to pick up the children. Hooray! I've got a cough, says Pedro. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear came to look after us, says Danny. <coughs> All the adults start coughing too. <coughs> Peppa picks up the phone. Dr. Brown Bear, now all the grown-ups are ill, she says. Now it is the grown-ups' turn to take the cough medicine. <coughs> it tastes like custard and old socks, cries Madame Gazelle. All the grown-ups must take the medicine to help them feel better. <sighs> no one likes the medicine. Who looks after you when you're ill? asks Peppa. No one looks after me, replies Dr. Brown Bear. I'm never... <coughs> <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough too. Oh no! <sighs> Who will look after Dr. Brown Bear? gasped Peppa. <laughs> Poor Dr. Brown Bear is taken to hospital. He has some visitors. Danny has brought some fruit. <coughs> Susie has brought the medicine. Open wide, <coughs> says Susie. Ugh, cries Dr. Brown Bear. It tastes like Jabby yogurt flavoured carpet shoe with flowery custard old socks. Soon Dr. Brown Bear is feeling better. Hooray! Everyone loves being looked after, even Dr. Brown Bear. Hooray! The end. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Diwali. At playgroup, Madame Gazelle is telling the children about Diwali, the festival of light. They are all drawing pictures. 
Now you all have a picture to take home to your parents, she says. <laughs> the next day, Peppa and George wake up to sounds in the kitchen. We are celebrating Diwali, says Mummy Pig. Peppa blinks at the bright kitchen light. Everybody is up early for the festival. Mummy and Daddy Pig are busy cooking. They are getting ready for the party. Later on, Granny and Grandpa Pig arrive with presents and clothes for the children. Hello, Peppa! Hello, George! says Granny Pig. Are you excited about Diwali? All over the world, families are coming together, says Grandpa Pig. This year, we wanted to join in too. Auntie and Uncle Pig ring the doorbell. The whole family has come to stay. Hello, Chloe, says Peppa. Hello, baby Alexander. Mummy Pig frowns. Hmm, I hope we have got enough food. I'll peel some more potatoes, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Everyone gets changed into their special outfits from Granny and Grandpa Pig. Even baby Alexander is dressed for the occasion. Wow, says Peppa. Everybody looks so beautiful. Now we are all ready, says Mummy Pig. It's time to light the candles. They are called Diaz. Oh, says Peppa. Is it someone's birthday? No, Peppa, Granny Pig chuckles. Diwali is a celebration of light. The Diaz bring us good luck, says Grandpa Pig. Diaz shine all around the house. Peppa and her family start to eat. What a feast, says Uncle Pig. Would you like seconds? Asked Mummy Pig. <coughs> Uncle Pig asked Daddy Pig to pass him a potato. But Daddy Pig has gone outside. <coughs> Daddy Pig is watching the fireworks. Happy Diwali, everyone, he cries. <laughs> Happy Diwali, they all say back. <coughs> Peppa loves Diwali. Everyone loves Diwali. The end. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Easter Egg Hunt. It is springtime. Peppa is going to do something very exciting today. Grandpa Pig made an Easter egg hunt for Peppa and her friends. There are lots of chocolate eggs hidden in the garden, says Grandpa Pig. Are you ready to find them? Yes, Grandpa Pig, everyone says. <coughs> Off you go then, says Grandpa Pig, but be careful not to step on my plants. We promise to be really careful, Grandpa, <coughs> says Peppa. Peppa soon finds an egg hidden in a plant pot. I found one, <coughs> shouts Peppa. Rebecca Rabbit finds an egg under a bush, and Freddy Fox finds another in a wheelbarrow. Everyone has a chocolate egg, except for Richard. I wonder where the other eggs are, says Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig puts his hat on Richard's head. When he picks it up again, a chocolate egg appears underneath, like magic. Now Richard has an egg too. 
Did you enjoy your Easter egg hunt, children? <coughs> Asked Granny Pig. We found all the chocolate eggs, says Peppa. <laughs> They're in our tummies now, adds Freddy Fox. Good, says Granny Pig. Now let's go and see our chickens, Jemima, Sarah and Neville. They have a special surprise. <laughs> but they're just boring chickens, Granny, says Peppa. They're not special. They have eggs too, Peppa, says Granny Pig. Can we eat them? asks Freddy Fox. No, Freddy, laughs Granny Pig. The eggs are about to hatch. <laughs> the baby chicks are hatching. There are three. <laughs> now that the chicks have hatched, it really is Easter, says Granny Pig. Peppa and her friends pretend to be baby chicks. They all sing. I'm a little chick singing cheep, cheep, cheep. I like to pick up food with my beak, beak, beak. I've a fluffy yellow head and some straw for my bed. And I jump up and down singing cheep, cheep, cheep. <laughs> The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more. <laughs>